What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and good luck. Good luck is a free app that you can get in the Galaxy Store. So that would obviously be the first step to this is on your Galaxy phone. And this works with more than just the Galaxy Z Fold 3, but I'm going to show you on there. Um, this is the app. And then you would just go into that Galaxy Store on your phone. You should have it somewhere on there. And just open that up and search for good luck download it and then once you download it and open it up it's going to give you the ability to download and install all these different modules you'll have two sets you have uh, tabs down here unit and family and you have a plethora under each tab of different ones and all you do is just click on it and then it'll download it for you and then once you click on it when you go back in here it'll actually open it up we'll go into lockstar first what this is going to be this is where you can you know obviously you have an on off switch right here you can turn it on and off but basically you can edit your portrait lock screen you can edit your landscape lock screen you can lock uh, lock screen timeout you can change the time for that so the way that works is if i edit my portrait lock screen i can come in here this is what it currently looks like but i can do a lot of stuff i can change the position of this around to where i want it to go i can change the wallpaper to something else if i want just with a tap of a button you can see it's going to give me different looks here you even have some photos in here maybe i want that one i can come in here and change the clock there's all kinds of different clocks you can change the size of the clock a lot of controls in here you see you got digital clocks you have analog clocks you can have an, even add some items in here such as face widgets music widget the lock icon help me uh, text shortcuts all kinds of stuff so it's very customizable and then when you're done you can just hit save you can also go to auto layout if you want and it will set it the way you might want to personally do it and again just hit save when you're done but very customizable stuff to do in there same thing with edit your landscape lock screen it's gonna be the same stuff it's just when you hold it in this orientation how you want it to to set when you're looking at it so it just depends uh, but a lot of cost a lot of controls in here which is is great for somebody that wants to you know dilly dally and all that stuff in there and really take a, a massive amount of customization to it lock screen timeout uh, default you, i have it set to default but if you want it to be 15 31 up to two minutes before it locks you can do that with your lock screen and you can turn that on and off if you don't like it. You have Quickstar next, and Quickstar is going to be your uh, quick panel. So you can style your own quick panel, visibility of icons, clock settings, show notifications by the last update. When you swipe down, you know, you can do that to see your notifications. But ultimately, when you style your own here, you have some where you can automatically create your own. You can also check out their recommended themes, and it's as easy as just tapping on it. And you can see it's about to install the theme. And once it installs it, you can apply it and save it as one of your own themes. That way your quick panel will be that set of, uh, of colors here. So when I swipe down, you can see it's now brown, very Halloween-ish looking. So if you wanted your phone to look a little bit more Halloween, you're able to with that. Otherwise you can just tap right back on the one you had previously. And uh, it looks like this. Or you can tap the plus sign and you can take control of everything so you can change the colors if you want you can change the blur level you can make it dark what it's gonna look like at night you can set a pencil to that there's all there's like you can download it there's a ton of, of uh, control over these uh, these quick quick panels in here and it's very easy to do you also have your visibility of indicator icons, such as like on your home screen, lock screen and all that. You also have your system icons up here. So if you don't want to see certain ones, like maybe um, you don't want to see it when you're in, you have Wi-Fi on it, for instance, um, I can turn that off. See, it's gone now at the top. So you have all these on off switches to change and turn all, all these controls off, which is really, really helpful and can clean up the look of your phone a, a whole hell of a lot. Like I said earlier, you can show notifications by the last update and I have that. You can turn that on or off. I have that off back into the main screen of good lock. You got your clock face. If you want to change your always on display or your lock screen, you can come in here and change what your clock face will look like or, you know, 
the design of it. And it's very, very simple. I currently have mine set up looking just like that, as you can see right here. But if you wanted to add a little bit of color, you can have these predefined created ones. And there's a lot in here. You can hit the plus sign and create a little bit of your own. Change the colors. Change the look of the clock. Very, very helpful. You can change it from an, you maybe you don't want an analog clock, maybe you want a, 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 an image or a digital clock. So there's tons and tons of stuff in here, guys. You can really, really go crazy with this stuff. And if you don't like it, just hit the, uh, the trash barrel right there. Next up is Multistar. Multistar has a bunch of stuff in here. So first of all, go into I Love Galaxy Foldable. If you go in here, I showed this earlier in one of my news videos you can do under display with black. So this is the Z Fold 3. So I can show or hide the camera. You can see really easily and do that on all my screens. Show the app always full screen when unfolding. So if I come in here, I can always show my apps always unfolding full screen when unfolding. So if I turn that on, I can do it for all my apps. So when starting the app, do not show the notice the pop up, adjust the compatibility app location. You can use letterbox and this is all the aspect ratios and things for the apps. Continue all apps on the front screen. If you want, you can turn that on or off flex mode with the best flex mode with our best menu has moved to an advanced feature labs menu. Try using the function more conveniently. You can see so flex mode is basically when you have the, the phone like this, you can have the phone do certain things. Like if you're on the camera, it would show like your photos over here and then like the camera over here, but you can do that with more apps in here. If you wanted to, you can pin your favorite apps. You can rotate with the best rotate with our best menu has moved to an advanced features labs menu. Try using the function more conveniently. And again, it's in the labs menu of uh, this is the regular software. Quick launch of the multi window. You can press and hold the recent key to quickly access the multi window. So if you turn that on, for instance, if I press and hold this, it's going to all automatically go into multi window and I can open up another app in here. And you see, I have my two apps open at the same time, which can be very convenient for you just by holding that recent apps button. So pretty, pretty helpful there overall. If you needed that in there, I'm going to, uh, you have multi window screen zoom, which allows you when the app is running with multi window, the screen is reduced to show a lot of content rather than just a little, you have multi focus apps that stopped when they lose focus, no longer stop. You have immersive mode to hide your status and navigation bars and split screen view. And you can turn that stuff on and off, enable multi window to all apps, pop up actions. This is going to prevent pop up minimization, the app size stretch to the camera hole. Uh, so just a, a, again, a ton of stuff to like meddle with if you really, really need to. And it's really, really simple to do so. Next would be Navstar. This is going to be where you can, can change these buttons. You can also change your gestures and customize a gesture. So if like you wanted your buttons to look differently, it's as easy as just pressing on these. You can see they, the look of them changed. You can even add buttons as well. If you wanted to, you can show and show uh, the hide button. So basically down here, I can show and hide my buttons down there. If I need to, you can do a new configuration. You can choose colors. You can change the button layout. You can add a button. Like you want to add button that does something else. You're able to do that. That changes the volume. It's now there. So there's tons and tons and tons of stuff on here, guys, to take advantage of the other cool thing you'll see. Let me just back up here is you do see this one show task stack. So see it at the bottom there. So when I press that on and off, it shows my most recent apps open so I can easily access them um, when I need them. And I can just quickly jump through these apps again when I absolutely need to be in there. So very, very helpful and can make things a little bit easier to use uh, with, a, with your phone, especially these big giant Galaxy Z Fold 3 phones. You got home up home up does a lot of the home screen stuff. So you can control your home screens. I turned on loop pages so I can continually just swipe through my home pages as need be. And I don't get stuck on it. Well, this is the Google page, but ultimately I can swipe through all my home pages and uh, never have to go back to the first page. If I go to the third page, it will come back to the first page. 
You can also control, you can do this in your regular home screen settings, but you have a little bit more control with the home screen settings and apps. You can make these really, really small icons if need be. Same thing with the app screen. You can change your favorites max count to is, you know, basically, let's see, up to nine. Change your, I have my loop pages, like I said, I can do the background blur control. You can take control of your folders with do them, you know, you can do a pop-up folder, folders open up in a pop-up style. You have your folder title suggestions. You can change your folder grid sizes. You can also back up and restore stuff. So like if you wanted to save this setup, because this is a little bit more control than regular home screen settings, you can do that in here to, to save it and you can do a frequency of how often it's saved. You can share it and you have your task manager too, which is a cool one. When I open up my recent apps, it shows up as a, as a task right there. I mean a grid, I should say. And then, but you can change it to whatever you want. You can see it gives you a little preview of what it will look like. I like the grid the best though. I think it's a little little thing. You got your mini modes, your app labels, your search bars, recommended apps, switch to previous. Tons and tons of stuff, guys. It gets pretty wild in here. Notastar is gonna show you notifications uh, that you may have missed. So I'll show you real quick. Point this up a little bit just so it doesn't see my face for face unlock. There's some arrows right here. If I swipe up on my lock screen, I can see some notifications that I may have already looked at or missed and I'm able to go back into them and click on them and view them again. Routines Plus, this is gonna add to your Bixby routines. So I'll show you what that means when I go into uh, Bixby routines real quick. And you add a routine, it adds some extra ones as you see down here, Routines Plus, I can do some other stuff with Unlock with Fingerprint, Button Actions and S Pen Action. So it adds those uh, to there as well, which is, I guess, helpful if need be. Now, I don't wanna make this video completely, completely long. It's a lot to ingest. Uh, here with this. Uh, so I'll do the family tab in a separate video. Uh, it's a ton of customization so far and we'll check these family tab out, like I said, in the video the next day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.